why do I find it so hard to sing? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three reasons why most people struggle to sing well or good. I hate doing that, but you know what I mean, quotation marks. What you can do to avoid it. So before we get stuck in, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And of course, remember to go back and watch some of the past videos after you've finished watching this one. So I speak to lots and lots of singers, people who have been singing for a while, people who used to sing when they were a child or used to sing when they were younger and either life got in the way and they stopped or they felt like as they got older, their voice changed and they weren't able to control their voice as much as they used to be able to in the past. And I speak to lots of people who feel like they've never been good at singing and really struggle to understand why they find it so difficult and believe that people who can sing are just naturally um, talented, are born able to sing and that it's something you, that you can either do or you can't do. Now I'm here to tell you that if you have a voice and you want to learn to sing, you absolutely can. I've taught thousands and thousands of singers. I've helped thousands of singers over the past 20 years. I've, I'm a professional singer myself. I've been singing for more than 20. I started singing in, um, goodness me, 2000 and no, 1999 I started singing. Actually, it's been a long time, 24 years <laughs> at the time of making this video. And, um, and the things that people struggle with are very common. There are, there are three main things that people struggle with and those are what I'm going to address in this video. Now, if you, if you watch this and then you um, still struggle to overcome it, um, you still struggle with, um, with singing, then just watch the video back and take into account what I've shown you here. Okay, so the first thing that people struggle with is that they try to sound good when they sing. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, sounding good and singing well is subjective, but as a voice coach, there are certain things that I would expect to hear and to see when people sing and when they talk. And so there are certain sounds that the voice, that all voices make, certain resonances. And as a voice coach, um, I'm, I'm able to figure out where people's voices are sitting, where it's resonating, what they're doing with their instrument, their whole body, not just here, and how I can help them. And so when people try to sound good, what tends to happen is they mimic the sounds that they think that they can hear or the sound that they think that they should make. Um, what they normally do is mimic the singer, the original singer of the song. Now, if you're a singer songwriter, you'll have an idea in your head of how you want your voice, your song to sound and how you want your voice to sound. And so you'll try to make that sound. And if you haven't been trained and if you don't understand how your voice works, that can be very difficult. But with a few tweaks, it you can actually get it quite, you can actually pick it up quite quickly. And it's the practicing, it's the re repetition the mastery that makes the sound natural. So when you try to sing well or you try to sound good, you don't necessarily know what you need to do to get the sound that you're aiming for. And that's where people struggle. The second thing that people do when they try to sound good is that they put too much effort into singing. So what I find most people do is start off a start a song really strong and when by the time they get to the chorus if it's a big chorus there's nowhere to go because you put so much effort into singing the first part of the song it, now if you start on a chorus that's not always the case so if the chorus starts nice and strong then um, it could be that when you get to the verse you're still putting in the same amount as eff of effort as you've put in right at the beginning of the song, which means you're gonna run out of steam. Now, even the best singers in the world can't and shouldn't really give it everything the whole time, 
even singers like Christina Aguilera, Celine Dion, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Adele, um, Freddie Mercury when he was around, Bruno Mars, John Legend, um, even they have dynamics. They have um, highs and lows um, and dips and contrast in the way that they sing. And that's what we want to bring to the table as well. So when you start singing, think about where does the song start and where does it go? How much effort do you need to put into the beginning if you've got a big chorus? Usually we need to back off at the beginning and often we need to back off a little bit in the chorus as well. Now this can be quite complicated, but it just takes some listening. So when, when you think about singing a song, listen to it first. And if you're just, you know, if you're just like jamming with your mates, you know, you're, you're in the house and with, you're with your friends and family at a barbecue or a, you know, a family get together or even at a party, even down the pub and a song comes on that you love in the car, song comes on that you love, just rather than giving it everything that beginning and then thinking, oh my God, my voice is going to break and crack and I'm going to sound awful, just back off, give it a little bit less effort, a little less force and you're going to find it's a lot easier to sing. And the third thing that most people do when they try to sing is they tense up. So I see this happening a lot. Now, even if, you know, when people are driving, they're usually quite relaxed. But normally I, I will see people start to they'll take a breath and it's all up here. And then there's no more air. And they've got a stiff neck, stiff chest, stiff shoulders. And really... The thing to do is to take a nice long breath, loosen the stomach, loosen the shoulders, loosen the back and just enjoy singing. Just let the sound flow through you. You don't need to force anything. You don't need to hold your shoulders up. That's not going to help. You don't need to look up when you're singing a high note. That's definitely not going to help. And please, please, please don't tense your abs in an attempt to sing from your diaphragm. That is not how it works. Tension is the enemy of singing. Really, the one thing we want to do, or the main thing that we want to do, is to relax. So as I say, long breath, relax shoulders, loose stomach, loose back, take a long breath in, and let your voice flow. So I hope that this has helped. Do remember to click like if you've enjoyed the video drop a comment you know if there's something that you want me to help you with then put it in the comments I'll make a video for you and I'll give you a shout out and also remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos and of course share this with someone that you think is going to benefit um, have a look in the description for anything that anything else that might help you I do have an online um, an online program coming up and if you're watching this anytime after October 2023 the online course should still be running is running I'm gonna say it's running have a look in the description there's a combination of on-demand videos and live lessons with me okay so the on-demand videos are different to what you get here on YouTube they're ex ex exclusive content that's only available to my online students I'll see you very very soon stay hydrated ciao